Good morning viewers here is Dr. Tokira Bas today is Sunday and I'm at home so I thought I must make a detail and explain about the hair fall which is very common issue in every second person in our society so I thought I must make a detail and explain like a why hair fall and how we can naturally protect more hair fall so let's get started actually taking too much stress in life and eating not healthy diet uh, especially you know there are several types of vitamin which are necessarily designed for our body system like uh, vitamin E for skin, A for skin, and uh, there is a special thing called biotin. Biotin is a thing which is for your hair growth, thickness, shining. So we have to find naturally occurring those things which are rich with biotin. So if you are taking too much stress, stop. And if you are not eating healthy diet food, especially with uh, biotin rich, you must eat healthy diet. Make it. And it can be due to hereditary issue. In some people's family, it is running uh, throughout the family. So these are the things which making your hair loss, not getting enough sleep, not eating balanced diet and taking stress. So here we will look for natural way. So the here is uh, number one tip is get frequent trims. Yes, get frequent trims mean give a little bit shape to your hairs, not to get proper haircut to save the money. Some people, uh, they get a proper haircut to make it too short. Actually, haircut can damage hair growth. So just to get to trims, while haircuts don't make your hair growth any faster, they get rid of split ends and break your hair. After our split end that breaks a can lead to your hair losing length not to mention shine volume and smoothness so the number two eat the right diet yes having long strong hair doesn't just depend on which product you put on your hair it also depends on what you put in your body yes to promote hair growth, you need to feed the hair from the inside. A Francisco Fusco, MD dermatologist in NYC, said like that. So, what food make hair growth quicker? Here we are going to talk actually those food which are rich with biotin. So, the number one. Try increasing your protein intake with foods like fish, beans, nuts, soybeans, and whole grains. Even if you are not a meat lover, you should still eat some to aim maintain a diet high in protein for hair growth. Women who don't get enough of it often experience more hair shedding. And number three, add a hair healthy vitamin to your routine. Which vitamin? Let's see here. If your diet isn't supplying you with enough nutrition or supplement. Here we are saying like uh, the daily eating diet. Uh, maybe you're not getting enough vitamins so here you can find a good quality multivitamin that's formulated and labeled for hair and skin and nails 
those contain important vitamins like uh, biotin, vitamin C and vitamin B that can support hair health. Also, uh, vitamin A, C, vitamin E, zinc, iron, omega-3 fatty acid can help you too. And number four tip, shampoo. Use less shampoo but hydrate your hair more. Yes. How often you shampoo your hair does actually impact your hair's health. Two to three times a week allow your natural oil to penetrate your hair, allowing it to hydrate and repair itself. For thicker and uh, fuller looking hair faster, choose a shampoo labeled Volmizing or Thickening. Coating your strands is a silky deep conditioner or hair mask or hair detangler regular can also help to prevent damage. And a, number five, tape lay of the bleach. As a cheek as platinum hair looks going from a darker shade to light blonde could stand between you and your longest possible hair. When the cuticle of the hair is damaged from bleach, you can have more breakage or split ends. The fewer chemical treatment, the better your hair will grow. So use less chemical treatment. And number six, avoid excessive heat styling. You know, for party, for interview, for wedding, most of us you make our hair stylish, make hairstyle and using uh, you know, a hair straightener and a hair dryer. But stop over styling your hair, I must say. So if you must use, so decrease the temperature and always using a low heat protectant. Otherwise, you risk damaging your hair, leading to breaking and freeze. I mean, if you have to have to make hairstyle using hair dryer, so uh, use protector or uh, decrease the heat. And number seven, brush hair regularly. You know, especially when you are going to bed for sleep, you must massage your hair using a brush from top to down and from right to left. Gently run uh, the brush on your scalp and it will increase the circulation which will give you even better sleep so going to bed with the unbrushed hair may seem tempting when you are tired but giving your hair a few quicker strokes can be greater for your hair and scalp overall health starting at the scalp use a bore bristle brush okay it will distribute the natural scalp oil even onto your hair so it says naturally moisturizing. This simple step each night also help increase circulation which will make your uh, scalp healthier. And number eight, keep your showers cooler and focus on scalp care. A hot shower can dehydrate your skin yes and it also rough on your hair turn the water temperature down when cleansing and here number nine protect hair from physical damage what does it mean hair is especially susceptible to breakage when it's wet so instead detangle hair before the shampooing water exposure swells and stretches the hair shaft which causes the shingle like outer layer to lift and adding stress from brushing in that state can cause it to break you know if you use hair brush too roughly it it's a physical damage so must use the brush uh, gently. If you have to detangle hair when wet, do it the right way. Apply a top rated leave-in conditioner.
from roots to end and use a gentler wide tooth comb or detangling brush to reduce friction. Working from the ends use in a small section to prevent tangling or tearing hair. Number 10. Sleep on a silk pillowcase. If next time you are going for shopping, so you have enough money, so go for a good silk made pillowcase. It's a scientifically proved as a good made silk pillowcase can actually prevent damage your hair. Getting better hair overnight is possible. All you need is to switch up your pillowcase and reap the hair healthy benefits of silk. The silk is easier on hair. It helps avoid tangles and breakage. Uh, it says uh, I'm the assistant a clinical professor of dermatology at Mount Sinai in NYC. The less breakage your hair experience, the longer your hair will be. In fact, they are so good that the Good Housekeeping Institute even conducted an entire study to find the best silk pillowcase. So must look for the silk good quality. And number 11, try using minoxidil. Here is the last option after natural products. Pick up a bottle of uh, women's Rogaine or any good quality recommended by GH Beauty Director April Rezigo. The active ingredient minoxidil is approved by FDA. It proven to help stop hair loss and promote hair regrowth because there is one spray uh, called is minoxidil available over the counter uh, with the recommendation of a doctor or you can give below comments uh, like what you are using what have you been using and more what you have to do so i will answer your question uh, for a more targeted solution pick up here two percent minoxidil topical solution and use the dropper applicator to focus on more specific problem areas but be wary of shampoos that claim to grow hair don't go for such shampoo that claim to stop the hair growth as as a doctor i don't really believe there is a shampoo which can stop only naturally everything can stop especially stop taking stress and uh, here i'm going to tell you the some specific and uh, uh, more important causes when you talk to your doctor about hair loss when really so underlying causes which i'm going to talk if you have so you have to contact with the doctor hair loss may be contributing to your hair is slow it's estimated that more than 50 percent of women will experience noticeable hair loss according to cleveland clinic and that doesn't count those born with the wispy or spare strands. Hair that's naturally thin in diameter or spares in genetic. Hair loss is often hereditary. Hair loss, as I told you, it can be due to family running issue or androgenic thinning, which tends to be patchy. Another common type of hair loss is uh, telogen effluvium. Yes, all over shedding due to hormones or health issues such as thyroid or autoimmune disease anemia, less blood in, in body, and uh, rheumatoid arthritis or SLE and spondylitis. These are autoimmune diseases, and even thyroid not proper working can lead you to hair loss. Hair generally grows back once the problem is treated. If the cause behind is uh, organic, and once the organic cause hair fall treated, so the hair growing will be back, see a doctor for diagnosis. For androgenic loss, 
the over-the-counter topical minoxidil mentioned above is proven to grow hair with continuous uses for all type of professional treatment that is PRP, platelet-rich plasma also available, stimulate growth with scalp injection of your blood growth factor. So uh, I hope you got what I was talking about. So here again and again, I will say you must, must stop overthinking, taking too much stress. Maybe the, the thing for you are taking is stress. You get a nod, but you will end with lost hair and also uh, get anxiety and sleeplessness. So going for shopping, look for biotin rich products fish, lean meat, which are less with fats or not for white meat, and whole grains, beans, especially red beans, and fish with, uh, uh, what's say omega-3 fatty acid. I hope you will get what I'm saying and you, you will start falling to protect your hair uh, with a natural way. So moreover, I will uh, talk about uh, some reasons for sudden hair loss, sudden, and how you can get help. As I was saying, possible causes of hair loss include stress, poor diet, and underlying medical conditions. Everyone experiences hair shedding and it happens to each of us every day, right? Most people lose 50 to 100 hairs per day as part of this natural cycle. More on days you wash your hair, but what if you check your pillow, shower, drain, or comb, and it looks like you are suddenly losing much more than that, right? Isn't it? The best thing you can do is talk to your doctor or dermatologist. They will get to the bottom of why you are losing hair and they will make sure you get the right treatment in case a medical condition is to blame. So here are just some of three, some of the reasons you could have sudden hair loss. Number one, a possible cause is it's a, it's a telogen effluvium it's a type of hair loss it's just a type of hair loss can happen about three to six months after you go through something stressful losing or falling hair loss due to stress is, is the type is called telogen the american academy of dermatology says these stressor can include and what type of stress it's like a surgery. You are undergoing surgery, giving birth, getting a divorce or losing a job, having a high fever, or recovering from any illness. So these are come under stressful or even stressful event. And Mayo Clinic says abrupt hair loss due to telogen could even happen a few months after the stressful event. Like you undergone a surgery or stressful event, but in later time, maybe after three to four months, uh, the hair falls start. Another type is alopecia areta. This kind of hair loss often shows up as round bald patches. If you see bald patches, round circle, it's alopecia areta. It can make you lose hair suddenly and seeming out of the blue according to NYU Logon Health Center. The condition happens when your body immune system mistakenly attack your hair follicles. Your hair may grow back on its own or with treatment, the American Academy of Dermatology says. 
other medical problems. Yale professor of dermatology David writes that uh, thyroid condition and bowel diseases could be to the blame. Certain medications, blood thinner or chemotherapy drugs. Yes, chemotherapy. You know, if uh, unfortunately if someone of you going chemotherapy or so chemotherapy in later state can lead you hair fall your sudden hair loss another nutrition problem these can include getting too little iron or too much vitamin A so get help now if the above uh, reason or the above condition I was talking if you see those around circle patches are falling here more than 100 so you must get help there are many treatments for hair loss the first of all of course is the natural way to get about in some can even help reverse it the right treatment for you depends on the cause of your hair loss so first of all we 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 have to reach to the exact diagnosis the reason behind so we can properly uh, start treating so which is uh, why it's important to see a doctor and get diagnosis so don't wait the sooner you address the symptom of hair loss the more likely to you are to prevent irreversible damage Speak to a medical professional today to begin your journey to make your hair thick, strong as before. So I hope you got all that through what I was talking. So below you can give comments and you can discuss the condition if you are having not only hair fall, whatever you are feeling unwell, uncomfortable, you can tell me below comments. I will try my best, according to my knowledge, give you the answer. Some uh, frequent question that I expect, uh, like why am I suddenly losing so much hair? What am I lacking that cause hair loss? How can I stop my hair from losing? What causes hair loss in a female and a male? Which vitamin help your hair loss? So uh, I can add the expecting question answer here. So the question must be like what food stop hair fall? So eggs eggs are a great source of protein and biotin both which promote hair strength carrots oats spinach and sweet potatoes and dairy product with low fat and avocados and if the question is what causes hair loss in female so there are a wide range of conditions that can bring on hair loss with some of the most common being pregnancy, thyroid disorder, and anemia. Other include autoimmune disease, a polycystic ovarian syndrome, the PCOS. Well, if the question is which shampoo is best for hair fall, so the answer is none. No shampoo is best. Okay, so see you next time. Goodbye.